Hey guys, so a little follow up on my Pilot Petite One fountain pens filled with liquid watercolors. I went ahead and I swatched them all out again. It's been several weeks in fact, and there's a few things I definitely wanna show you guys. So for one, some pins do experience leaking in the cap. For example, um, this is Windsor Newton Emerald and the color is not, let me zoom in. Sorry about the shaking. The color is not actually particularly exciting. It's not really much of an emerald and it's not very saturated. So um, I don't think it leaked where I applied the silicone grease. I think it leaked through the, um, the nib itself. So this is one I'm gonna clean out completely and try it with something else. Um, some of the other pins, like, yeah, here's one. I think this is like blue violet or, um, ultramarine. Yeah. Echo line, ultramarine violet. It's a nice color. It's a saturated color, but there is leaking and I did store them very much leaking. I did store them nib side down to encourage, um, ink flow to the nib. Oh, I really need to get this off my hand. And then there's some colors that while they didn't really leak, they didn't, they aren't really stunning enough to be worthwhile. And the big one for that is PH Martin Sunrise Pink. So this is another one. I mean, it looks like triaminic in there um, that I'm going to clean out and um, replace it with a different color. But some of the colors that actually seemed to work well are Calypso Green is a much greener green than um, Windsor and Newton. And it's pretty quick to start too, despite not being filled with what it's supposed to be. Reddish violet, no leaking. Still runs. Um, blue, ice blue is an interesting color. And if you've already got it, it might just be well worth going ahead and keeping it. Windsor and Newton orange is a pretty decent up orange. And I'm holding this funny because I have ink all over my hand now. Um, An Echo Line Red Brown also runs okay. So these were all inked weeks ago. I'm going to use a water brush and see how reactive they are. Because fountain pen ink remains water reactive. Some of them remain indefinitely water reactive. So it looks like, unlike fountain pen ink, watercolors are a bit more water resistant once they've had loads of time to dry, which could be one of the reasons, one of the problems, one of the reasons we're having problems, sorry. And this is just kind of sketchbook paper. It's not any special paper at all. Okay, so um, I am going to clean this off of myself and I'm actually going to clean these out and ink them with something different. But I did wanna just give you guys a little heads up, show you guys how things turned out with the liquid watercolors, I used Echo Line, Windsor & Newton water-based ink. So it's not watercolor, but it is a water-based ink and Dr. P.H. Martin's Concentrated Radiant watercolors. Um, I did use those. I didn't test all colors ever available, but I did do a pretty good little selection considering. So I hope that inspired you. I hope that enlightened you. I hope if you were playing along at home or considering playing along at home, I was able to answer some of your questions in an honest and effective manner. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I do know that fountain pen inks are not ideal. For, I mean, um, I do know that watercolors are not ideal for fountain pen inks, hence why they're in very inexpensive little fountain pens. And um, for a link to the eight color Pilot Petite One set, you can check the description below. So have a great day, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.